Greetings, this is Classic Games Redefined. My name's Rich, and we're looking at another one of my games. This is another one of my games on half a checkerboard. This is a backgammon type game. We have this here, this dice tower. It's not required. You normally need like a set of 12 checkers, and also just a pair of six-sided dice. You can play with a doubling cube if you like, and that's why it's there. We'll just move that a bit out of the way. The reason why I have this is that just to help with the shuffling, we go over and it's something they had up on the thing, and then I get to do it that way. So, object of the game is you're going to want to bear off all 12 of your checkers. And that means on an exact roll, you end up going across the board, and they move off. And then if you bear off a checker, if you bear off a checker, you would put it here. What you're going to do is, like in other games, the in a row and some other stuff, Philo, I showed... What you do here is that checkers, the first checkers put in column A. If these are columns. See, the columns are numbered. In the first column, you're going to put in column A, B, C, D, and then they come off that way. So what you do here, it's like regular backgammon. Before you can bear off, which means if you're in, if red's going this way, you're going to be rolling the dice. It will need exactly a roll three to get that off the board. And what we do is we can see, randomly determine who the star player is. I would roll the two dice, and it falls into the dice tower. Uh, if both these dice come up as, if both of them come up as a one to four, let's say, for example, we had three on one. Let's say three. Let's see, you had three. Actually, hang on a second. Let me do this. I'm actually going to do it this way so I get a better view. Let's say I rolled a 3 and 1. It would be 1, 2, 3 as 1, and then 1. If you roll doubles, unlike backhand, and you would end up just doing like that there. They There's not that. So again, this is a simple backgammon game. But the case is that one or more of the dice comes up as a 5 or 6. We had a 5 or 6 here. That means I would then pick one of my dice and one of my pieces, and I can move it one to four spaces. It turns it into a single wild card. So we go there. So let's go ahead and highlight, grab these, and just drop them in and see what comes out. Okay. The thing that's weird about these dice is they the, the, the physics are wonky. So what I can do here. I want to do it this way. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to do it that way. And what you do is if there is two or more in a space. Okay. Two more in a space. Like this. They're safe. But if, let's say, for example, let's say I did, I did four to match them. And then red goes here. I mean, black's going to go. I will drop them in here. That's a four and one. So we could do this. One, two, three, four, and then four, and then one. He hits that, and it goes back to the home area. There's no bar, so we could do it that way. Next up, I have to check about the protection. Give me one more second here. If one's four high, you're not allowed to enter on that space. So, also, so, what it was is that if there is two on a space, then you could still land on top of it anyhow. We did that. That was a four and one. Black did that. Now, let's see what red does. See if we get some, hopefully we get something decent here. So, he will hit back. He goes there. So, again... Let's drop it here. Here we go. Double ones. So I can choose to hit back like that, and I move this one into the board that way. And I think this is a better way to do it. Dice tower acts wonky, so we'll drop it here. And just drop it. So we have a three. Actually, it's a wild, so I will hit back like this. It's very important to create the islands to protect them. So, And then we roll again. 
and that's a one and three. Okay, if I hit a five, I will send them back, which is probably too wide, so I will actually do a three and a two. Pardon me if I got the players wrong. Now, black will go, so we will drop this like that. So I have a five and two, which is another wild one, so we will put the one there. You're making strategic decisions on that, where you want to drop things, so we will just drop this. And that just fell off the board. I just lost it. There it is. Let's drop it here. Okay, let's say, uh, pardon me, I'm losing track, and I believe black goes. Actually, red would go, so red then can choose to enter one or advance. Once all the pieces are on the board, at that point, then you could start bearing them off. So, anyhow, we'll go drop them like this here. And that's another thing, which is an issue. So, I will end up doing that. And that's a 3-4, so it's a wild anything. So I will try to play defensive and drop one there like that. And we go across like this here, and I will... Okay. We have a double two by black, so... Okay. Double two. I will end up just creating this here like that. You're allowed to pass over. If it's four high, you're allowed to pass over it, but otherwise you're not. We'll just drop it this way. I just had one fall off, which it will do. And I will grab this and just drop it in here. Okay, that's a one and a four. So, one, two, three, four. Now these are stopped. So, and then we drop a one here. So that's blocked. The three space for black is now locked down. So let's drop it in here like this. And now black gets to do a one through four. So I will end up. I will go there. And then red goes. So we drop it like here. There it goes. Double ones. So, you can't get there. But with a double one, I could choose to enter two more checkers just to protect. That's vulnerable. You By that, you saw I lost. It got blocked. So, now we go here like this. Now, black's going. So, that means a wild anything. So, I can do a three and just lock that entire column down. If you can't make a move, you have to pass. So we'll go across. Goes like that there. Okay, and I believe this is see, one, two, three. One, two. And now I believe. If I'm getting the turns wrong, I apologize. Now I believe we're going to say black's going to go. So. There it goes. Let's just drop them around. Bring it around the outside like this. And. Up and in. That's one in the six. So I guess we will gamble and do a four like that and see what happens. And that's a one and three, I believe. So. So we can do um, a one, two, three, and do a one right here. Now black goes. Okay, black goes. Black will end up doing that as a single, just a four to protect himself. So next up. Four and two, five and two. So that means that's a single move. 
He can do the two to be on the safe side. Actually, we'll pull a three to create a tower to block black in. So black is really hurting now, so black will go. Which might be because I didn't do it right, but you know. Four and one. That's not good. So, one, two, three. Four and one. Actually, I can do a four. Black does a four. And a one goes here. Like that. Now red would go. Now red goes. And this is where I'm going to make a point here. So, we have red going. I'm saying that as a reminder myself. So, anyhow. Uh, two and one. So, now he can start pairing off. He can go one, two. And actually, he can choose to hit. Watch this. One, two. Two hits him, he sends him back that, and then we get a one and red goes off. And this is where the double into we red could choose the double to get the match ended. So now black will go. And black rolls. So black has an option here. So it's a six and five. We'll end up putting it on the four space. And now we could choose to hit another stuff. So now red red will go. So what we're doing here with this is we're utilizing the spaces that they have. Six and four, which is now one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Uh, that's a one through four because of the six. I apologize for that. So anyhow, now what we'll do here is it's Black's turn. So we'll drop them in one at a time. Put it on top. He gets a one. I'm doing it one at a time. I want to maximize randomness here. So then he could drop that in like that. And it rolls like this. It goes down. He has a four and one. So I believe it's Black's turn. And mind you, I'm losing my mind here. Black. Oh, well. So he's going to have to do the following. One, two, three, four. Locks down that. And goes in and drops this here. Now we'll have red going. And again. Rolls in. Red has a two and one. One, two. That's his only move is there. Now black will go. So let's see what black's going to do. Five and... Two. So that's anyone. He will enter this and make it a two just to send him. So he has to now bear that piece on and do what he's going to do. And now red will go. So. Double fours. I think I said red's going to go. So he can't. So. One, two, three, four. Hits him, sends him home. And then I can go one, two, three, four. We'll do that like that there. Now black will go. So. I'll drop it over the top and see what happens. Okay. Now black goes, and black does in anything, so... His choice, he can choose to protect, or he'll lock that down. So It goes on like this until all the pieces get bared off here. You're supposed to alternate turns one at a time. You also can play with the doubling cube, and you play with the doubling cube. And with the doubling cube, what you want to do here is that you will double the amount of points in the match to get the person to resign or proceed. It's a way to end things here. So this game has, on a very tight space, has some pretty chaotic swings that can happen. Particularly as you see, you can lock down a column like that. And that could really change things that way. Well, so let me go back into the chest. You can also you imagine we're actually going to stack these together. Imagine a chess king or something. You could also play, for example, with, like, let's say we have a king piece. And we had a king piece, for example. What you can do with the king piece is that's now four that can enter the board 
and you're trying to get a, a one of the missions you have is get the king all the way across the board to get it to go home in the end area right which after they go off the board right we had red going this way black going that way after that happens you'd want to try to get it off the board it's one of your 12 pieces that you're doing what thing that happens is if it's a singleton this is a variant to make a little bit like chess is we had i believe we have black going this way if red were to hit it and send it back to go back to the mirrors you lose the game so it adds a little bit of a chess like element to it so anyhow this is pretty much king's crossing we'll have a link to the game on the board game geek website and again, something, this is one of my games on Half Checkerboard series, which started with me experimenting with different spaces. Uh, I mean, with this one space here and seeing what I could do with it. I figured I could go back in a game. This is one of them. Again, this is a mini game with swings. You have to be careful what you're doing. And the dice act the way they do. So you end up losing mobility, but what you do is you gain more control. So, anyhow, that's it. So I do want to thank you for watching, and may your die. Always well thought.